Hello, I am Anna Diffin, and this is the Let's Play of Endless Space. When we last left off, we actually didn't do too much last session. We basically expanded out a little bit more, captured Avengers, and started a new war on the second Harmony player, and continued to attack Arkab, and most importantly, researched Dreadnoughts and de developed the Dauntless class of ship, but and built three full fleets of them. So I'm going to create those fleets and move them out to a, into attack positions. So Estra, which is Arkab, Estra and Arandius. Annoyingly with Arandius, I'm losing losing a lot from this little improvement here, which is no dust is meant to be produced. However, somehow dust is still being produced. I think it, from the improvements it is produced, but from the actual system itself it is not. That is going to cause a bit of an issue with me. Fortunately, my actual seed ships, the bulwarks, are not doing particularly well, despite their absolutely colossal amount of invasion strength. So what I'm going to do now is design a Dreadnought version. And this I will call the hmm, the Albion. The ship will actually also be a troop landing ship. So yes, cancel that. I'm going to upgrade to dust to dust and upgrade to that so I can actually get this reduction and expansion disapproval, get that and then start working on advanced tonnage and a very important repair system which is a bit better than the arm one I've been using at the moment make some more food but generally now I don't need to worry too much about what I do get science, more and more science would be nice and lossless for additional tonnage on ships. I'll design that ship later. First though, I have another fleet to eliminate. Completely wiped out, no problem whatsoever. Let's see lots and lots of dreadnoughts were produced, lots of other things were bought. Get this so I can actually see any fleets in orbit. Let's just upgrade absolutely everything we can. More influence, more vision. Not so much for tech game, I don't find this game, but tech is very useful to see where the enemy fleets are. Really just crush them as quickly as possible. Two sciences. Awesomely, the assault troops were researched. Cuts all that, because I just heard. I'm going to attack. Fleet's fairly weak, but my fleet is also quite weak. I do need to... And it's still only so it's kinetic and beam. Not a very good combination. You always want to try and maximise one to cause the most damage against the enemy fleet. Each fleet... Is it not a nice idea to have mixed ships, but in different fleets? In the same fleet you always want to primarily focus on one defence or off one well, one offence. Defensively you always want to keep them the same. Here the ships are pretty much fine. I'll just put that on almost needed because they have no defence against the kinetic to do completely no damage to me whatsoever. That would be fantastic news. Fleet here, move in, destroys with that. Hero gets the new rank, and I'm actually going to move the hero into the Dreadnought's fleet. So, in fact, despite me having an invasion ship there, it's going to take an infinite amount of time to invade. It's a bit of a 
pain, but nothing I can't deal with. Sleep here. I'm actually going to do complete auto, see what happens. I take a little bit of damage from one of my dreadnoughts. Give me invasion. Now I need to do is design the Albion class. This is going to be an actual invasion ship. So I'll have a couple of invasion fighters and invasion troops. I only have one troops because later I will upgrade the troops and some later ones take two slots. Important to note, this actually cost population to produce. This is a bit of annoyance, but it's something I can deal with. Then what I do like to do on these is in fact put the en an engine module on to actually allow them to catch up and get around the board as quick as possible and fill it up. Oh, very important. I need a repair module. These repair modules will allow them to resupply troops and fighters very quickly when they get killed in invasion attempts. It actually take four turns to recover that, but it will do it in external territory. In friendly areas, it will take a little bit less time. But this is a very, very useful thing as it allows me to get infinite, essentially an infinite number of population from each place. Because the troops and that will kill population. You see here, collateral damage against population. They will kill population when they invade. But invasion is an instantaneous process. So, let's go to one of my high population work planets. Uh, let's have a look. Gano. It's full. I'm trying to get a psychological insulation. What's about the hat system? Build three from the hat system. It's going to use up three population there. I can't build three from the next. So for the hat first, go to a, a cab, then the Estra, and then the Burius system. You can actually see, which is. Oh, there we go. <laughs> bit, bit glitchy. They've managed to build, put that upgrade on each and every system. Uh, cheapest technology is discovered. What's my cheapest technology? The cheapest technology will be that. Not needed. I'll go probably for. The colony ship. A population person is always, always handy. Engineering and then actually a repair. So I'm going to destroy them, and in fact, I destroy them without any damage whatsoever. So I, this is why I love pilots. Causing an invasion against this fleet. They have no defences here, so I'll just rip them apart. No worries whatsoever. And this guy I will now put on the dust barrier as well. Albion's out. And then move over to the Beerus system. Excellently. I now have a dungeon which also requires Hexafarium, which is what I'm trying to capture from the Arkham system for the last goodness knows how many turns. About 20 turns, I think, I've been trying to capture that system. Tax. I can increase a little bit by another 5%. Not so much needed now, because I have a lot of money from fleets of attacking. Interestingly enough, the Obion has arrived and has knocked down to 16 turns already. Nice little, nice little feature there. But now I have a 
completely zero chance of invading and succeeding. Great. I'll probably need to bombard it first, but I have no bombing facilities. And they're attacking me, which is great, because I can destroy their fleets quite hand and get lots of experience for it. Create the defences twice on the hero. And a new colony ship, which is here. Yep, um, but it does not have population. We go to the hat system. Get three more Albions, which should take three more population. The colony ship will then put one population back on. I have a 100% chance to invade, so I will do so. The barrier system is now mine. Put on science. And firstly, development network. Development network is so powerful because it's a five. It's five turns no matter what the system has. So five turns, they'll start producing some dust for me. Despite the darn harmony, building their upgrade to remove it. Next, what I want to do is probably hmm, upgrade that so we can actually start terraforming on a li slightly larger scale uh, to get rid of some of the dust. That's a very nice income one. And hmm. I think push up to these, get some of these artifacts, and also that, which is a system defense. I again, I don't like system defense, it's pretty weak. You see, this six, 16 turns there is that is system defense. I can't invade this system due to the system defense there. But That little scout ship is going to stop my fleets. <laughs> Can I build any ships here? No, I can't build dauntless ships there because it's being... Ah, excellent. It's moved on. Put colony ship down, get population back up a little bit, move my second fleet of Albion ships over, and now 100% chance to invade instantaneously. I lost five of my five out of my six troops, which is a rather big annoyance actually. But it's not the end of the world. The point that works. This fleet will attack the green who have been attacking me. I again put this nice little engineering on because why not? Line invincible, completely rip them apart, take no damage whatsoever. Fantastic. Now I have three invasion fleets here, one of which I could probably just disband. I don't need that ship anymore, so I'll get rid of it. I have two fleets which are worthy of attacking. Go to Cepheus and probably Astra. Clear them out. And now I've pushed up to second from sixth from a few turns back, just because I've been completely tearing Pink apart. My Fids is still only second, and I'm still third in knowledge, which is cause for concern, because there is a scientific victory condition which is possible to get hold of. Yeah, I normally get it around about turn 130, 
So, a fair way off, but kind of behind on the scientific front. Thankfully, it does not look like that's going to be a case. Goodness. Ah. Damn. <laughs> um, I put engines on my Albion ships to get them around faster. Uh, they go around too fast. They're now by themselves. That is a problem. <laughs> Hopefully it won't be too much from a five percent issue. Hmm. But hopefully we won't get attacked. Science is doing well. Getting in large ships. Hang on. Oh, sorry about that. Uh, what was that? Oh yes, um, looking at science. So I'm going to be getting a larger ships next, then bomber. I should know. Then some more economic ones. Try and get some more terraforming sorted. Then go all the way up to personal shielding for more artifact exploration. So which are very strong. They give huge, huge, huge bonus to various researchers. So research movement. But I'll show you a couple of which I on my empire. It really comes into own when you get the monopolies. You see here, I've got monopoly here. 10% fits, because I have a monopoly. Absolutely great. A few of the others, things like healing for costs, that invasion power, food is a good one to have. Ship experience, wonderful, I love that one. And hero experience. Yeah, people are unhappy. So... Because I'm in doing vast, vast amounts of invasion. Um, since I'm having difficulty keeping them in fervent, in fact, I can't really unless I start losing money, which I never want to do. Let's just keep everyone content and do it like that. Ah, this is why. Big reduction of all resources and happiness. Inverted movement. So I can move directly between systems. Don't have to go along the phase lanes. Blockade. And start killing pink. These guys have no chance against my fleet. I'm just kidding, I didn't cause any damage whatsoever there. The annoyance can only, only it's gonna be nine turns though. And Pavo is now mine. Destroy that scout. And gain a rank for it. <laughs> Get another rank of Tinkra. Gives me better defense against Beam. See what's up here. Let me do that just yet. The bulwarks say it claim they can attack, but they cannot. The next turn there. He's got large fleets. Goodness me, there's a lot of pink fleets there. 16, 3, 4, 1. I'll keep on going against my actual enemy. I'm still engineering. I've still got very weak fleets. As I said before, the Harmony have great difficulty with they don't really expand with their fleets. Ah. Teal and Sheridan are deciding to attack me. A mistake on their part. Hmm. What is their opinion of me? Friendly. It's war within the faction. 
seven to seventy two to common enemy. So they like me because I'm fighting Bink. Hmm. But they're now attacking me. This will not stand. If he's dauntless out. Though I can modify my dauntless. And I can't can't get the hex fairy. It's a pain. I'll ignore that for now. Just build another three dreadnoughts, go and attack that system. Defend that system. These guys, oops, forgot to give them anything. But not needed. Astra system is doing okay. So this is our curb. This is infinite time to capture it, but it's just annoying. This is now earning me a little bit of money because I've got a wonderful improvement. Let's get the happiness up. Just buy those out. Flat up, just buy. Go to that system. I need to get more fleet saves to take out all of these. Yeah. More and more ships, which is great news. Aha! Invasion percent, one hundred percent. Bang! Enemy captured. Excellent news. So this this system is now mine. Pink's homeworld. Into science production. Go okay, governors. Not yeah, governors aren't particularly great, but it just speeds up process. Particularly since I just want science. And they're now invading me. This will not stand. Just so see, without the hero, I still win, but not as handedly. With the hero, I wipe that fleet out completely. actually put on engineering um, so I don't take any damage or very minimal damage, take 50% 150 less and I clear out that fleet so I've just got the invasion fleet left, which I will destroy I don't like the fact that they've got a hero there so I'm going to kill him Defeat him, and then move over to this next one. Hmm. Just restrict charge, not these. Not really needed. Hmm. Yeah, I don't really need any of these. <laughs> Doing quite fine by himself. I might just go for improved fleet movement because why the hell not? I don't build engines on my attacking fleet. Three invading fleets, so I will attack first with this fleet. As you can see, my attack power is very low compared to theirs. They have a much bigger, much supposedly much stronger fleet than I. It is true in a sense, I didn't manage to kill any of them. But I took no damage at all, so I continue the same tactic. This time though, the second wave destroys them. They do a little bit of damage to me, but I am able to completely finish them off. 
This fleet, however, with the astutes and diligences, I don't think will survive. I take quite a bit of damage here. Um, I was expecting that, due to the fact my fleets are not that great without the dreadnoughts. Because I haven't upgraded them, actually. It's pretty simple. This is a speeded, my green. Um, I might, might intervene. Might go and attack orange as well. Because my... My army's now getting strong enough to do that. I still can't actually build the next fair and stuff because it's being besieged. Annoying. It's got lots of money. I could build up another fleet. Might do that for over here, actually. Would be a nice idea. So I'm going to be expanding this way. I'm not even sure if there's anyone over here. I'll find out soon enough. Oh dear. I'm being attacked by orange. Using to sparrow though, take no damage whatsoever. Which to compare to I find them down here, these guys. No. I'm gonna go engineer and repair off this guy. This is actually an extremely effective tactics. Repair works better than just static repair, so you can repair by killing people. See? Oh, that's two rounds, all my ships got healed. Yeah, very important to actually select your attacking fleets, otherwise you will start attacking with the siege ships. Which, because I haven't designed them with any defence in mind, they will just instantly get destroyed. A little bit. Put an engineering module on, repair that little bit of damage. The one of them survives. Here goes up a level, which is great news. Continue swatting these guys. And now I think. Yeah, I'll go for another invasion fleet from over here. Everyone's pretty unhappy because lots of places have just been captured, lots of unhappiness, lots of overpopulation, and expansion disapproval. I do need to resolve that. I believe that should be something for next time. So, until then.